If they have little tiny beaks, they need baby food, little tiny fish. So they need a, an active fishery, a reproducing fishery. So little little fish, when they're, when they're babies and they have tiny beaks, and as their beaks get bigger and longer, they can eat, eat bigger fish. Sort of like I am an ornithologist, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm an ornithologist, but conservation biologist and behavioral ecologist and stuff. But birds are my focus. Get the pin feathers, get the feathers. We would go on vacations to Colorado, and that was my favorite thing ever to do. And so I knew I liked to be outside. I knew I liked to do things like that and to watch animals and to interact with animals. So I knew it had to be biology. I knew it had to be animal biology, probably something outdoors and something interactive, actually, with the animals. I'm trying to think of back Mrs. Caldwell, the teacher that, I, that was my important memory from, from elementary school. When I do assume the role of, of being a mentor, I hope I'm able to be the sort of mentor that I had always wanted, that I'm able to be somebody else's Mrs. Caldwell. If I can be that sort of a mentor, I think that's the sort of situation I would have thrived in and probably did thrive in, and I'd like to do that same sort of thing. What sort of education, what training do you need to have to be an ornithologist, to be a conservation biologist working with birds? Undergraduate degree in biology or wildlife ecology or conservation biology, uh, some sort of the ologies. And then for more specialized training, if you're interested in doing research, a master's program. And then if you want it to become an academic, if you want to train others, the PhD and then postdoctoral training is useful. Worldwide, there's a lot of very good conservation biologists that don't have any specified training. Basically, you just need to have a love for it. You get out there, teach yourself, and the more you get to know and understand and learn about the world and the environment, what you see out the window, the more attracted you're going to be to it, you're, the more you're going to want to work with it, and the more you'll want to understand and be able to understand and ask questions so you can go forward with it. <laughs>